Hello Aries, how you doing? I hope you are really, really well. Uh, my name is Diane. And this is Madame Butterfly Tarot. Uh, we're gonna do a little cheeky love reading for September, but you know, it's a, a timeless reading, Aries, like all of my readings. So whenever you happen to find this is when you were meant to see it. You are very, very welcome here, Aries. Thank you so much for, you know, being here with me, taking the time to check out the reading. I appreciate it very much. And if you feel uh, called to like and subscribe for me, you know, if you feel like the reading resonates and all that good stuff, I would appreciate that very much as well. Um, so I'm going to start off with one of these guys here. So what's going on for Aries in love? What's going on for Aries in love, please? It's taking a long time for your cards to come out, Aries. Maybe you've been waiting a long time for something. And then suddenly things are going to change because you have the Wheel of Fortune here. So the Wheel of Fortune indicates something turning for the better and it usually indicates something happening like that, like turning on a dime, I guess you would say in the States, right? Uh, so you have the Wheel of Fortune here. Um, time of positive change, a situation suddenly moves forward, fortune is on your side. See, it's like you've been waiting, waiting, waiting and then like boom, all of a sudden you get into alignment and it all starts flowing. Beautiful. Anything else for Aries from this deck? I do not know which one that was, Spirit. Give it to me again. Anything else for Aries from this deck, please? You have the King of Cups. Oh, you have two? No way. You have the King of Cups and the Queen of Cups have just come out together. You are so funny. That's the Ace of Pentacles I'm looking at as well. It looks like um, you do have this Three of Swords at the bottom of the deck here. So I'm wondering if you've been kind of healing from something. Like this is the, the reason that you've kind of been, like it feels like nothing is happening and you're in stasis and you're bored and it's it feels stuck. But you've actually been healing from something. You have the Three of Swords here. So this, you know, it, it's a love reading. So I'm assuming it's kind of love, but it could be something else as well. And you have the world underneath that. Oh my gosh, yeah. With the tower awakening. So yeah, you've you've obviously been through some kind of sadness here in the past. Okay, whenever that was, it might have been a long time ago. You know, people heal at different rates because sometimes you feel, especially like Aries, right? Because you guys are like so gung-ho and like it's like oh I can't stop I should keep going and like I shouldn't feel sorry for myself you know so it might um actually you might not realize that you're healing do you know what I mean and it, it just kind of comes through all of a sudden and you're like oh you know what I was really upset about that <laughs> like yeah that person really hurt me but um yeah the world you it's an end to a cycle you know you're leaving heartache behind uh, and you have the tower here and the hanged man. So it's like you've been, um, you know, they've kept you in this perspective, like this kind of stasis almost, I want to say, to give you a new perspective. And I feel like it's probably about your self-worth um, and kind of stepping into your power. You know, this type of thing, I'm guessing, that's usually why they do it. That is mad that you have the king and the queen of cups have just come out together. Look at that. Look at that ish. We can get it to focus. So, <laughs> I mean, you could very well have a water sign coming towards you. You know, they could be also a Libra, because uh, the King of Cups can represent a Libra. Um, but yeah, they could be. They could have water in their chart, Aries, which would be Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Uh, and you know, maybe you think they're like I don't know. Maybe you think they're. A Gemini but actually they have like a water some somewhere in their chart right um but this is like the perfect couple <laughs> this is like and with the wheel of fortune it's some kind of fated connection look at this this is fated 
this is the person you're supposed to be with. The thing is, you're going to find as well that like this person reflects a lot of what you've been through back to you. Um, because whether you identify here with the king or the queen, you know, it, it speaks of people who are really lovely, like really compassionate and caring and kind and giving, but sometimes they get kind of trampled on a little bit because they're so nice. People take advantage of them. So it's like two people who have kind of had to learn boundaries, right? Um, but really sweet, really loving. Like this is someone you can totally trust coming in here. Like this is like your perfect partner. And I always think with the cups energy, like the king and the queen of cups, it's like whoever this person is, you guys are going to fall in love with each other's soul. I mean, I'm sure you're both gorgeous. I'm sure this person is a hottie. But um, it's more than that. Like, it's about falling in love with your each other's soul, right? Oh, So, I want to say as well, look, look what I just stopped at. The lovers. This is like a very fated connection here. And you have the Six of Pentacles. It's going to be someone very giving it's you know you're on each other's level this is someone that can give love back to you the same way that you love other people right um very generous you know very loving very giving with the lovers it's a true love card it's a soulmate connection it can talk about um you know a, a little separation because often with these soulmate connections like you meet and then there's a separation where you go away and do your shadow work, right? If you want to know what shadow work is, I have a video on it on my other channel, which the link for the other channel is in the description box. But it's like you, you have to go away and do your shadow work and then come together and then you're ready, right? And you're both not going to kind of screw up the relationship, basically. Um, so who's this new person? Oh, I said new. Okay. I didn't mean to say that. Um, I guess maybe they're new. Who's this person coming towards Aries then? Who's this person coming towards Aries? Um, so, I, I'm just going to reshuffle those because I don't know which... I'll take the ones that fell, okay? So you have the Six of Swords, uh, sorry, the Six of Wands, the Two of Wands, and the Ace of Swords. So this could be someone, you know, it could be someone new, um, it could be someone older, you know, like an older energy, I'm not sure yet. Um, you have the Ace of Swords here, but the Six of Wands, it looks like it maybe may have been slightly delayed, right? Whatever that means, like maybe you've been waiting for a specific person or you've been waiting for someone new to come in, but it kind of looks like this person's been trying to decide what to do. This is very similar to Gemini's reading actually. You might be dealing with a Gemini or you might have Gemini in your chart but it's like they they make a decision. I think they've maybe taken a long time to make a decision. Okay what else about this uh, person? That's a lot. What else about this person coming towards Aries? The King of Cups? No way. <laughs> so you have the King of Cups here. The King of Cups here, excuse me. So could be Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, could be a Libra, or they have that in their chart somewhere, but really, really sweet. Um, you know, very trustworthy, like a lot of love to give, very loving, very stable as well. Like this is someone who, like they're, they, they're in touch with their emotions, they're not closed off, but they're not ruled by them either. You know, the, the King of Cups is, um, it's all about self-mastery, possibly a little repressed, okay, maybe a little repressed. And as they said that, they drew my attention to the guy on this card. So, I don't know, if you're dealing with a guy, they might be physically very big. Like, big arms. You know, like John Cena. Um, like, big arms, but it, it's like... Uh, you would think... <laughs> it's definitely communication coming in. Um, are you going to meet this person soon? This is for people that are dealing with men. And for some of you, they might be very big physically, like big arms, like big upper body. This is for someone that needs to hear this. Um, if that sounds like the person you're dealing with, 
you know what this person's like an angel this person has like a halo over their head this person's like an angel that's coming in honestly um but you would think to look at this person that they're kind of tough or that like kind of imposing or intimidating but i actually think they're kind of shy and a little unsure of themselves you know there's like a little bit of uncertainty like a little bit of a lack of self-confidence with this person but you would not yeah you would not think that to look at them because for someone out there you're dealing with someone kind of big right but it's like a gentle giant type energy you have the nine of swords here this person's a massive overthinker they could be they could have some gemini in their chart but you could be dealing with a gemini because gemini had that too they're a massive thinker like overthinker massive warrior uh you have the temperance card so I think Gemini had that too. They could have a little Sagittarius in their chart, but they're very patient, very restrained, um, you know, probably quite slow compared to you, Aries. You know, the Temperance card is not someone who rushes. You have the King of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck here, so you could be dealing with an Earth sign. Um, you know, King of Pentacles is someone very, very stable someone like they may have a lot of people relying on them or something like this but they're they're good with their money kind of protective or they want to take care of you they want to take care of people this type of energy someone very slow very slow moving with the temperance and the king of pentacles so yeah see i feel like you've been waiting for this person for a long time and then it's like boom everything changes all of a sudden and the more that you can get in alignment, the quicker that'll happen. And the way to do that is to work on your solar plexus. Again, if you want to know more about that, check out my other channel. And just as we're talking about people that are giving and protective and loving, like the King of Pentacles, you have the Six of Pentacles. So th they're very giving, they're very generous. Um, they're probably going to want to try and spoil you. <laughs> so let them, Aries, you know. Okay, what else about this person coming towards Aries, please? <clears throat> Excuse me, what else about this person coming towards Aries? <laughs> That's too many. Okay. Um, what else about this person coming towards Aries? Clarify the Six of Wands, please. The Justice. So there's some kind of decision that needed to be made here, okay? They finally made it, or you know, this is tarot, so it might happen today, it might happen tomorrow, it might happen in a month. It is about divine timing, but it's also about you getting yourself into alignment, because it's one of these things that it's like, you know, like a watch pot never boils kind of thing. Um, and then as soon as you turn your attention away from it, it's like bubbling all over the place and messing up your oven, right? And messing up your stove. So it, it's like a delayed, decision they've made the decision and now here they come they could definitely have some libra in their chart clarify this two of wands some of you definitely already know this person it's like they were given this opportunity and they had to decide what to do with it for some reason um that's a lot of spirit clarify this two of wands the nine of wands and the three of cups have just come out together it's possible this person was dealing with a third like in a third party situation with the three of cups mm, if they were you know because like i said when you meet this person you may f if you've not met them yet you may find out they were recently in a relationship that they left or something and if they're still in this relationship, Aries, they're not treated very well. A bit of a wounded warrior. You know, I think you're dealing with someone, regardless of their size, okay? This person, it, it's like they project this. They don't do it on purpose, but it's like they come across as like someone that would be kind of tough, right? Um, or, you know, someone maybe a bit serious, like poker face, that's what I'm trying to say. But um, they're actually just like a big cuddly teddy bear underneath it. You know, like very sensitive and like a little unsure of themselves. And I think they had some kind of relationship here with someone that didn't treat them very well. 
you have the yeah <laughs> so you have the devil at the bottom of the deck here there's a little bit of uncertainty but it's to do with this past connection or the current connection that they're in i feel like they were maybe dealing with a bit of a toxic connection or they're a little worried about like they're a little apprehensive about dating you know because of a past connection you have the seven of wands here with, uh, clarifying this eight i'm not going to use it to clarify actually but you have the the ace of swords and the seven of swords this person has recently or will leave some toxic connection behind that doesn't have to be love that can be family or friends as well right but usually it's going to be love right because the seven of swords is all about um you know leaving behind a situation it's like where you've learned the lesson you know it's like a karmic lesson and you've done that you've learned the lesson and now it's time to go right and there's the wheel of fortune again clarify the ace of I, seriously expect something to change fast okay four of swords this is someone for a lot of you you already know them and you've been in separation with if you don't know them yet this four of swords energy has been a time of rest for you use it to actually rest because like use it to get yourself in balance like you know don't get into this like well nobody's here yet so i'm just gonna work myself into the ground right don't do that get yourself into balance you know eat right get enough sleep you know get yourself into a routine um you know exercise stop start focusing on you because it's gonna come in very fast and when it does you're going to be glad that you did all this stuff before because I don't, I think they're trying to prepare you for this, right? Um, because it's just going to go from like you're in separation or you're just chilling by yourself to this offer comes in. And you know, see, you're good, right? You're showing up as this nine of pentacles, you're good, right? You're perfectly happy, chilling on your own, right? Um, you know, you're doing your thing, you got enough money, but someone's going to come in with this extra pentacle to give you the ten of pentacles right um clarify this ace of swords clarify the ace of swords please yeah they're definitely not happy where they are or they were in an unhappy relationship clarify this ace of swords just i keep coming back to this you see how he's hugging himself that's a trauma thing. You see it? Like when somebody does that, it's a sign that they're trying to comfort themselves in some way. So this is someone who's been through some kind of trauma, like in, in terms of some kind of relationship here. Oh. Clarify the uh, Ace of Swords, please. Thank you. Oh my God, the Two of Cups. So this is someone very, very different than, oh my God, look, the 10 of cups at the bottom of the deck. It's your soulmate, Aries. They might be a lot more emotional than you, okay? And I'm not uh, having a go at you here, I'm a Gemini. <laughs> I, uh, I am not, you know, that way inclined myself. It's not that I don't care for it, I just don't do it. So, you know, but they're kind of showing up, you know, as the king of cups. So. They might teach you how to kind of tap into your emotions a little bit more or something like this, right? But then again, you might have like a lot of water in your chart, I don't know. But they're going to be very different than who you've dealt with in the past, the Ace of Swords and the Two of Cups. I feel like it's someone kind of new for a lot of you. Like you might already know them, but I feel like they're kind of a newer energy. Um, because I feel like you've been waiting for them. You know, it's like, you're like, no, I want, I want them. That's the one that I want. That's who I want. Two of Cups is, is soulmate energy. This is going to feel like a best friend. You know, you're on the same page. You both want the same things. It's equal. You know, the, the love that you have tried to give people in the past, you weren't being rejected, okay? It's just that the people you were trying to give your love to in the past weren't capable of dealing with that amount of love. This person is. That's why it's the King and the Queen of Cups, right? There's going to be some, the Ace of Swords, 
there's going to be some kind of breakthrough. Basically, when they leave this behind, this connection that they're already in or that they were in, like when they get past the trauma, um, there's going to be like a communication, some kind of breakthrough that leads to union. And you guys are going to be so happy. Honestly, look at that. The Ten of Cups with the Nine of Cups. This is a wish fulfillment. You're going to be... It's emotional bliss with this person and you have the Six of Swords moving away from chaos. The Empress. This could definitely be someone with heavy Libra in their chart. The King of Cups with the Empress. So this person is showing up as the King of Cups here and they're kind of putting you on a pedestal here as this Empress. Um, you know, for those of you who identify with the Empress, if you want to put yourself in there as an emperor, you do that, right? But, um, yeah, like they kind of put you on a bit of a pedestal here as this empress, because see, they're showing up as the king, but you're showing up here as the empress. It's like one above the king, right? Um, you know, they see you as someone like very independent, very affluent, like very um, abundant, that's the word I was trying to get, things just kind of naturally flow to you, you're quite regal, you're very confident, even if you don't feel like that, that's how they perceive you. Um, they think, they, they, they think, they feel like you would be an excellent mother or an excellent father, you know, you bring a great deal of comfort to this person, there's something about your strength and the way that you carry yourself that I feel helps this person do the same right and I feel like in that in the same way they're gonna teach you how to be more kind of emotional and tap into that side of yourself right but you you teach them to be strong um clarify this nine of swords they're definitely they're a massive overthinker they worry sleepless nights clarify this nine of swords please See, I feel like this is probably the reason that they've not made a move yet is because they're worried. They're worrying about stuff. They're worried about rejection. Four of Cups here. They're worried about rejection. They're really, really worried that if they reach out to you, they're gonna, you're going to reject them because they don't have a lot of confidence, this person. And again, it might be someone very good looking or like kind of intimidating or imposing, you know? I can't think of an example like a celebrity, I just can't think of one, but you know, they're a little unsure of themselves. They may be younger than you, that may be the issue here. They're a little intimidated, they're a little intimidated by you. They're trying to work out if they should make you this offer. You may have met this person at your work or you may meet them through your work or something where you're learning something. Like possibly you just started a new job or they started a new job or it's like an evening class or some kind of training course or something. Um, clarify the temperance. They're very, very slow moving though, okay? Especially compared to you, because you're a fire. Cl uh, clarify, okay, temperance. So you have, oh, the four of swords with the nine of pentacles. So basically, the reason for this separation, for those of you who already know them, is yes, partly they've been in a, for some of you anyway, you take what resonates from this reading, okay? Uh, for some of you, they were previously in a connection. For some of you, they still are. But the reason for the separation is so this person could get confidence because they really, they struggle with it. They really struggle with confidence. This is the problem with this person. Um, and again, I feel like you're just like, no, I want them. Like for those of you who've already met this person, you're getting other offers, but you're like, nope, I want them. Um, let's get some, my camera cut out here, sorry. Let's get some zodiac signs. Tell us about this person coming in for Aries. They could be a Virgo. If they are, now listen, if there's Virgos cross watching, I love you to bits, but you're slow, okay? <laughs> you're very slow. Um, so if this person is a Virgo, you know, you're going to have to just, deal with that basically because Virgos are very cautious they're not your fire you know this person's an earth sign and they're a Virgo who you know they like to 
they just like to make sure that they're doing the right thing, that it's going to go okay, you know, they're very cautious, so, you know. Uh, anything else about this person coming in for Aries? What else about this person coming in for Aries? See how slow the cards are coming out? They're very cautious, very slow. You have Scorpio, so they may have a little Scorpio in their chart. Um, which, you know, again, if there's Scorpios watching, I'm not trying to slag you off, um, but sometimes people with Scorpios in their chart can kind of get themselves into this like kind of negative way of thinking that they think they're not good enough. You know, it's it's like it's like a self-defeating kind of thing, especially if they got a little Virgo, because I always feel like Virgo struggle a little bit with confidence anyway, because they're always doubting themselves because they're kind of perfectionists. You know, they're they're always doubting themselves. And let's get one more. And the thing is, right, um, I'm just going to reshuffle that one. You may think, I don't know, maybe you think this person's like a Gemini, for example, right? Like, but you only know their sun sign and actually they're coming through something else, like their midheaven or their Venus sign or something, you know? Let's get one more. But this person... Okay, so they could definitely have water in their chart, shift Pisces. So this person could have heavy water in their chart. Um, there's cancer as well. They may have a little bit of cancer in their chart. Uh, <laughs> let's get some characteristics about this person. Who is this person coming in for Aries? Strong and very wise and muscles, yeah. There's for some for someone watching, this is a confirmation and listen, it's not gonna be for everyone, okay? <laughs> like I already said this earlier. Um, this is for someone who's watching this who needs to hear it. This person is they're kind of big. Like they have a big upper body, you know. For the dudes, probably. Maybe if you're dealing with a woman as well, they might have a big upper body. Uh, whatever floats your boat. I got muscles. I be pimped out. Um, but yeah, like this person, you know, they might have very big arms, right? But they're unsure of themselves. Okay, what else about this new person? Yeah, they've patient just came out there wherever it was. Uh, this person is very patient, very methodical, very slow. <laughs> um, what else about this person coming in for Aries? Animal lover, that's always a good sign. Usually means they're not a psychopath. You can tell a lot about people by how they treat animals. Uh, what else about this person coming in for Aries please? You have very wise, that one wanted to come out earlier. Uh, you have long-term planner, heavy Virgo energy. Let's put that there. Uh, what else about this person coming in for Aries? Gorgeous and patient. Yeah, they're very patient. See, I think they're, they're gorgeous. I think they're really gorgeous, this person, but they just... Um, they just don't have a lot of confidence. Okay, what else about this person caring? And let's get one more. Uh, I'm just gonna take that one. And this one, you have manager, team leader. So they could be a manager or a team leader and you have health conscious at the bottom of the deck. So they could be kind of health conscious. Um, Let's get some messages from this person and then we will close down the reading. Oh, Aries, what a lovely reading. The King and the Queen of Cups. That is just, this is just gorgeous. This person is just like a little angel. They really are. And if you're the cross watcher, you're just like a little angel. I just love you. Um, okay, what would this person like to say to Aries? Oh, 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 <laughs> the four of wands, my love, you're my happily ever after. Look at that. 
earrings oh my god this person is gonna make you feel like so, like so many emotions <laughs> don't be gross out so you have the four of wands so this person sees you as their happily ever after let's get another couple oh the king of wands oh baby it turns me on when you take control see you're the fire sign here right i'm just gonna take that one uh, and then I'm going to take another one. You're the fire sign here, right? You're the king of wands. You're the fire sign. I think they kind of like it. that Because, you know, Aries, you're like the leaders of the zodiac, right? You, you know, you have that gung-ho, like, let's do it. I love Aries energy. Like, let's get it done, right? Um, they They like that energy about you. Like, I don't know what's going on between the two of you. Maybe you asked them out or something for those of you that know them. But they they like it. They like your energy. Like this kind of driven, take charge. Like, yeah, they, they really like it. Um, let's get one more. I don't, you know, it's, I, mean, I don't know which one that... You want all of these? Okay. Okay. And yeah, we're going to... So you have the... Sorry, I'm rambling, Aries. You have the Ace of Cups at the bottom of the deck. So it looks like this is someone new. Uh, so this is what love feels like. I'm so excited. They're in love with you, Aries. You make this person very excited. I don't think they've met anyone like you before. You have the Ace of Pentacles. Um, hold out your hand. I have something for you. So they're coming in to make you an offer here. You have the Queen of Cups and the King of Pentacles. So this person could be an earth sign as well. They could be earth with a lot of water and maybe a little Libra in their chart or some mix of that, right? Maybe a little Sag as well in there. So you have the Queen of Cups. So they see you as their Queen of Cups basically. And you have the King of Pentacles. Um, so you seem to be showing up in this reading regardless of your gender as the Queen of Cups here, okay? Um, so they, they see you as someone really sweet and like loving and compassionate and caring. Um, and you have the King of Pentacles here. So it looks like this person's kind of, they're, they're, they're probably good with money, like very responsible. Like I said, they might have a lot of people relying on them or like they do like a very responsible job and they save money and they're very protective. You know, they might wanna like, provide for you financially or like take care of you like cook for you you know this kind of thing like literally like take care of you in some way like they're very protective you know stand up for you and people say mean, mean things to you um but you make this person feel at home this is your energy for them they love you they just love you Aries, what a beautiful reading. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe for me, you know, if you enjoyed it and all that stuff. And many blessings as always. Love and light.